and uh, welcome to tonight's fireside chat. Sorry, I'm only going to get one probably this week, but it's been kind of a crazy week and continues to be so as we have a shorter week planning and getting ready for Fourth of July weekend and celebrations and remembrances and all the pieces that go with the celebration of our nation's independence. And um, today, as I as I have been trying to consider which way to talk to you about things, and because there's so many ways and possibilities and what is it that God puts on my heart that, that perhaps you need to hear? Uh, I don't know if any of you have noticed our new Facebook uh, cover picture. Uh, Kelly Wall and I spent time this weekend uh, working on it. Kelly really did, of course, all the majority of all the work. I asked a couple of questions and we looked up a couple of verses and pieces and talked about it and prayed for it. So Kelly did a fantastic job and we thank her for that. Um, but the, the picture is a beautiful picture. It's a, it's a beautiful blue sky and it's a picture of looking up at the exit, the outside of the uh, exterior of the worship space at the front with the cross and the peak. Reminds me of Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where will my help come from? And uh, then there's a quote there from the book of Exodus, chapter 33, verse 21. And uh, it's, a, it's a verse that is in the midst of God talking with Moses and his desire to see him, and yet God has told him, he said, you can't, nobody can look at me directly um, in your condition. You, you can't look at me. Your sinfulness, there's a separation that needs to happen there because God is holy, we are not. But the, the verse from Exodus says, Then the Lord said, come and, uh, come and stand by me, and there will be a place for you to stand on the rock. And what a, what a wonderful thought in the midst of a, a world that's kind of confusing what it is that Scripture is trying to tell us. You know, so often it is that people want God to come where they are. We, we want God to come and be where we are. Come, come and meet me where I am, God. And He does do that in a sense. But ultimately, we want us to come, have Him come and be and hanging out where we are so that we can stay where we are. And that is not at all the, the, the scriptural message. Matter of fact, throughout scripture, constantly we are reminded uh, that we are invited to come into God's presence, to come to where He is, to worship uh, and, and step out of our life into His presence. And there's so many references through scripture where He tells us to come by Him. And this is such a beautiful verse that, that uh, Kelly picked that there is a, a, a rock for us to stand on and God invites us to come and stand next to him so that we can stand on the rock. You see, the, the need for God in, in our life, including our life of faith, is it's not our work, it's not our pieces. We participate in. We have to come and stand near him and then he helps us to stand on a solid rock. You know, it's, it's, it's not that you're stable. It's not that you're steady. It's not that you're strong. It's the rock that won't be moved. It's the rock and the, the, the strength of the rock that is, makes it able for you to stand upon. But you and I have to come and stand near God. And he says he's going to give us a place to stand on a rock. Now, that is a, an interesting piece for us to consider when we look at uh, the fact that this year has been so challenging and seemingly tops and turvy. And you've heard me talk about this repeatedly, that so many people are, are struggling and worrying about things and, and letting things control them. And yet there are other people who have told me that this has been a wonderful opportunity because they have literally, literally come and stood near God and let themselves be in His presence so that He could teach them how to stand on the rock. Last week as we gathered for worship, it was a wonderful time to actually have people in the worship space again. And I, I look forward to, to have more people again as we slowly grow and develop that. But, but truly, what a great opportunity to, to gather together again. All those services are a little different and all those services are quite what we would have wanted. Ultimately, it's an invitation to come and stand in His presence so He can help us to see how we can stand on a rock. And he does so with challenging words, and he does so with kind and generous words, and he does so with love and a desire that we would leave the world behind so that we 
could be his people, and he could be our God. That's ultimately his most common conversation with the people of God in the Old Testament. I want you to come and be my people, and I want to be your God. Not all the other things, not all the other places you could go and find ways to claim something else in my place, to look for something else in my place, because none of that, none of that can feed and nourish and end your thirst and give you strength and let you know you have a sure foundation. But even though the earth should move, the rock will never will never go away. So I uh, just invite you this weekend as you spend time with families and friends, however it is you're doing it within the limited means of how we're supposed to be doing it, that you would consider the rocks of your life and which ones you've tried to step on and which ones you've tried to bounce from and the rock that God offers you to stand on. It's a rock so big that there is no way to fall off of it sideways. It's a rock so strong that it, it won't be moved. It's a, it's a rock that's smooth and offers a sure footing, and it's a rock that glistens in the sun, just like the lamb and his own robes for us. So come and worship. Come into God's presence. Whether it be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Sunday, come into God's presence every day. Let Him help you to stand on a rock. And let Him be the rock on which you stand. Just a couple quick reminders. I'm attaching the bulletins with this uh, fireside chat for, Saturday, for Sunday. They will be attached here. Uh, also, I want to remind you that, as uh, we talked about last week, to register for worship. The deadline for that is Thursdays about noon. We try to get that contained. Uh, so... Please make sure you try to get that information and call it in to Nikki so that you can be registered to be there uh, at worship and everything else that is uh, important uh, to, to gather together because we do need to have you there now or have you registered to be there. Now, we do have a few extra spaces right now, but as this continues to grow and people feel more comfortable, chances are there won't be those things. And so... At that point, we're going to have to tell people if they come to the door and the registration is full, we're sorry. Uh, we'll see if we'll double check a count, but in reality, that's when we'd have to start looking at a second service or a, uh, a uh, some kind of uh, options to, to extend people in a different way. So, um, I hope you're I hope you're blessed. I hope you find strength. I hope you hear the water in the background. Um, to remind you of your baptism and remind you that God has invited you. And no matter where you've wandered to, God will bring you back to that rock and invites you to come. But you and I have to come. So please, come to the rock. Come to the water. Come and listen for Jesus. God bless you all. Bye-bye.